Hey, this is Simeon from Praisetracks.com, and you notice that things are just a little bit different today. Um, I've been building computers since around 1997, 98, and it's always such an interesting experience. And recently, I did what I call the spring refresh on my current system. Um, and I thought I would just uh, invite you all to come along on this amazing journey with me. Um, maybe you'll pick up some things and give you some ideas of when you build your own system or upgrade your current system. And no uh, live stream or video would be complete without uh, Plugin Guru and Unify. I thought it would be fun to sort of pull up their new Retrosphere 2 library and sort of improvise the soundtrack to this uh, adventure. And uh, so come along as we enter the spring refresh of 2022. At the beginning of 2020, I built a brand new computer system and it started with the idea of an inverted case and that means that the window of the case is on the opposite side and so the motherboard's flipped over because if, as you notice that uh, you know my workflow i love having the computer on the left hand side and one of the only case manufacturers that i uh, knew that had inverted cases was be quiet so that was the case that i chose and it has been a great experience. It was the Dark Base 700. But over the years, and it, man, two years have just flown by, but I noticed that as I would add more memory, uh, more storage, external storage, more SSDs, I noticed that uh, sometimes I would get a little instability. I started with a 700 watt power supply, and so I thought, well, let me see if I can reach out to be quiet and just ask them if they could send me a beefier power supply. Well, you can see they not only sent me a beefier power supply, but also a brand new case and some liquid cooling. Uh, that's gonna be an interesting experience. So the, the Silent Base 802 is one of their newer cases. And one of the features that it has is that it can be uh, geared for total soundproofing or for airflow, which means that some of the panels are interchangeable. They're either solid panels or they're mesh. So what I thought I would do in this build is to sort of do a combination of both. I still want to have the window on the left hand, well, the right hand side, which means I'm gonna to have to invert this case, and then I'm gonna to have to transfer all of the components from the other case into the new case. So I've got, a, I've got quite a task ahead of me, but it's gonna be exciting. I'm also really excited about uh, trying out liquid cooling, especially for overclocking and CPU stability. And uh, that is this uh, Dark Power 850 is the power supply that Be Quiet sent. I'm really looking forward to this extra stability. And to top it all off, their Light Wings cooling fans are going to be a lot of fun. Uh, especially to add uh, just that little drama and excitement inside the case, especially with the window. So come along as we do a little spring cleaning and uh, step up to the Be Quiet Silent Base 802 and all of these wonderful additions. So um, here we go. So me and Chewy are here and uh, <laughs> we've uh, got everything. I, I went ahead and slipped into something a little more comfortable and uh, we're gonna start unboxing the case and do the inversion, and then I'll start transferring the components from the older case into the new case. So let's go. Okay, so we've got it out of the box, and uh, this is kind of what we have going here. Uh, we've got some hardware and some ties, some Velcro ties, and these these are the base for the inside of the case. They cover they cover up the slots here. Uh, I'm going to put these put these aside for the right now, and got the instruction manual. Now this is the solid. This is the solid front if you went for the soundproofing, and you can see it has got, I think, like a 10 millimeter piece of acoustic foam, a very high density foam. Uh, so you're gonna go for the mesh. So I'm gonna lay this aside for right now. And this is a mesh top, 
as, as well. And so because I'm going to do the radiator, I'm going to go ahead and use the mesh top. And you can see that this also is treated with a piece of uh, acoustic foam. And we can we can actually move the the vent fan here. And uh, it's just really it's really kind of modular the way they have it set up. Uh, I really really enjoy the improvements that they've done. As, well, especially on the side glass, because now it just sort of um, rides on these hinges and boom, it just snaps on. The dark base and case had thumb screws you'd have to re remove, but now this is just a matter of just pushing a button and that, that just pops right off. It's so easy to do. Okay, so we've got another box of hardware and this, this is the uh, hard drive mounting base or the SSD mounting base or whatever you want to do. You can see that uh, the bigger Be Quiet cases have, have just such an amount of space that you can put a lot of storage here. Uh, if you had the, uh, you know, had enough hard drives and SSDs, you can just populate all of these bays. Uh, and you can, they, they include one of these cages and you can purchase uh, more cages if you need those if you have the drives to populate those. So let me show you this. This is just like you just, you just push that button and here the other side comes off. And, and we can see that we have room to mount like different uh, SSDs. We've got a space here for one and then uh, we've got two spaces here. And this is how I have my uh, current uh, Dark Base 700. I've got three SSDs mounted here. Here's your fan control system, and here are all, are all your controls for the uh, top panel. You've got uh, two USB 3.1, uh, I think, and then you've got a USB-C. You've got audio jacks and a fan control on the top as well. So let's keep going. What a job. But uh, okay, so now we're ready to remove the components from the old build, the motherboard and everything, and then we're gonna repopulate uh, the, uh, the motherboard insert on the new case, and then we'll put it in. So let's do it. We're getting closer. Okay, so this is moving right along. So I've got the motherboard out of the case. I had to remove the old hardware, uh, the cooling fan hardware, because we're gonna replace it with the, uh, the all-in-one uh, cooling hardware for the liquid cooling. Um, and also, I installed this Wi-Fi, it's an M.2 Wi-Fi Bluetooth receiver, and it was it's really been a great uh, asset. Uh, the only problem that I had was getting to the motherboard. So I had to take the motherboard out to reposition the antennas because this did not come with the uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. But that has been one of the really neat additions that I was able to add to this motherboard. And I went ahead and cleaned off the old thermal paste. We're gonna put new thermal paste on there. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and mount this now, get it into the new case, and we'll be moving right along. Okay, so I'm calling it for tonight, but uh, this is where I am. I've got the motherboard in the new um, new case, and I'm installing the install the fans on the radiator. So I'm gonna just pick this up tomorrow. So uh, it's quite it's been quite the adventure. So uh, next time I see you, it'll be the next day. So uh, the adventure continues. Okay, so me and Chewie are back. This is day two. And yeah, are you ready for this? <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. You know, I just want to give a, I just want to give a big shout out with Chewy to uh, the guys that do this day in and day out, building these systems. Uh, it's not for the faint of heart, that's for sure. That's why you need some help sometimes. Uh, just big shout out to Epos Box and Linus Tech Tips and uh, Gamers Nexus. Those guys, uh, I just really admire what they what they do. So today, I know, today what we're gonna do is 
put the radiator in, uh, reattach everything, hook up the fans, uh, get all the graphics cards and everything back together, and hopefully finish this up today. So Chewie's ready and I'm ready, so let's go. <laughs> So we're moving right along, and one of the things that I discovered was that the Lightning fans are 4-pin, and the fan controller on the Be Quiet case is 3-pin, but that's okay, because we can use the first three pins and plug those into the hub. Now they're all going to run at the same speed, but it's still going to be controlled by the motherboard. Since the light wings are RGB, you can daisy chain them, but I found that the cables were kind of short. So I used the little SSD bay here to attach the, the RGB hub, the ARGB hub. And that way I'm going to plug the three front fans in and the three rear, so they're all going to be accessible by the single addressable RGB, uh, ARGB <laughs> uh, socket on the motherboard. Okay, this is where things get a little more interesting, and this is the Dark Power 12 850 watt and it's a modular power supply. So there's a bracket that comes off the back of the case and that's what you mount the uh, power supply to. But you have all of these different connections for your, uh, for your motherboard, uh, CPU, and uh, all your SATA drives and that type of thing. And they give you, they gave, they give you a ton of cables and uh, they just really give you a lot of stuff to work with. You've got a lot of Velcro ties to keep things organized. So we're going to uh, put everything, connect everything to power and uh, get ready to uh, fire this thing up for the first time. Okay, so here we go. So I've got all the parts installed. Uh, I've got the wires. It's, it, uh, it's not the prettiest wiring, but uh, one of the good things about the Be Quiet cases are they give you plenty of room on this back side to kind of just uh, tuck things away. And uh, I had some trouble with the lid at first because uh, the screws that I used to mount the, uh, <laughs> mount the radiator, I used the, the wrong screw and so it was keeping the, the, the latch from moving freely. So make sure if you invert the case or uh, even if you install the radiator, make sure you keep track of the screws and just use the real short ones that come with it. So I'm going to pop the lid on and then um, I think it's about ready to power this thing up. Okay, this is it. So I've got everything kind of buttoned up. You guys are going to be on the first power up with me. So <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. So I'm going to plug the power. Plug the power in. I'm going to make sure the power supply is turned off first. And I've got the monitor connected. power on. Ooh. Okay, I've got I've got lights. Let's hit the power switch. Okay. Cool. We've got we've got something happening. Okay. So we don't have white wings yet. Let's see. But it posted. So that's a good sign. But the, okay. Ooh. Okay. So evidently, we might not have power to the um, to the RGB controller. So, but this um, this gives me hope that I that I didn't mess anything up. So okay. So let's go back and look at the, the uh, fan controller. At least we're booting to Windows. That's a good thing. At least, and the fans are running. I just don't have uh, RGB uh, RGB fans. But uh, we're going to take care of that. Okay, we're getting closer, guys. All right, success. So after a little bit of surgery, <laughs> we got a we got a we brought our fan back to life. So <laughs> we have lights. <laughs> okay, new wardrobe. Day three, and this is the final chapter <laughs> in this crazy adventure. Um, so, yeah, Chewy, it's been a rough one, but it's been a very uh, interesting uh, experience. 
the, the only downside to this is that I'm, I'm just installing the old parts into a new case. But it's, uh, I can already tell a difference. <laughs> I can already tell a difference in the noise level uh, using the, uh, the all-in-one cooler and then the fans and uh, the new fans. I, I can really tell a difference already when I've booted it up, or not booted it up, but uh, tested it. So you, you notice that, um, you know, before, so one of the fans wasn't working because I had uh, accidentally pinched it in the case and so it caused it to short it out. So I spent a little time in the uh, in the soldering iron station, I had to break out the soldering iron and I fixed that and we've got the SSDs all installed. I went ahead and installed it in the drive bay down below and I had to use <laughs> I had to use some different cables to not pinch it in the back. So, um, yeah, Chewie's very excited. <laughs> and so, I got the back buttoned up. I did a little bit more cable management. And so, um, before we close it up, let's just uh, turn it on and see what happens. Okay. And I always turn off the main power back here before I do anything. So, here we go. Yes. So, we've got the three front fans working and then the three fans for the radiator. And you can just uh, not hear what's going on. It's just really cool. So I'm gonna put the front on and um, I'm gonna put it down, uh, you know, put it, place it down where it needs to be. We're gonna get the office and studio back to normal and we're gonna start production again. So I wanna thank uh, Be Quiet again for just uh, providing me with the new case and the fans and the power supply, I think it's really going to make a difference in the long run. So um, let's get this put back together. Wasn't that amazing? So we're back in the studio again, and I want to say that I've been using the new build for uh, for a few weeks. You know, if you've been watching the channel, you've been checking out the new live streams, I really believe that it's really made a great improvement in the um, noise level and the performance. I feel like the system is a little more stable. Uh, you know, you always want to make sure that you have that extra headroom, especially when you're loading a bunch of components. You've got a lot of storage, graphics cards, and that type of thing. You want to make sure that your power supply is able to sustain it. And it's always good to maybe get a little bit more than what you think you need just to have that extra headroom. Another thing is, make sure you know where you put your screws when you're taking things apart. Uh, you'll always wind up finding a couple of extra screws somewhere and wondering, hey, where do, where do those go? Uh, but uh, it's always such a fun learning experience. And, and you know me, I love sharing with all of you. Thanks again to Be Quiet for their fantastic support. So until next time, this is Simeon from praisetracks.com. Always looking for that joyful sound. And I look forward to seeing you next time.